Washington D.C. is putting finishing touches in place in advance of Pope Francis's visit, which begins on Tuesday and runs through Thursday. There is a flurry of last-minute activity at the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception, where the Pope will canonize a saint on Wednesday, according to the church's communications director, Jacqueline Hayes. We're expecting 25,000 people here. 15,000 will be seated, so those seats that you see um, are being laid out right now. The altar is being set, the sanctuary. So we're in the final throes of really putting this all together for 25,000 people to be here with the Pope. Officials say more than one million people asked to attend the Mass. 8,000 members of the media have requested to attend papal events in Washington, D.C., New York, and Philadelphia, and thousands are expected to follow the Pope wherever he goes. Only people with a ticket will be allowed to enter, and those tickets were given out three through the, free through the parishes. However, we anticipate there are so many people who will do anything they can to see the Holy Father. So outside the perimeter, um, we have no idea who will show. The nation's capital is prepping for increased security that will involve lots of road closures. Temporary metal gates are being installed around the National Mall and other points the Pope will visit, including the Vatican Embassy where he is staying and the White House. The pontiff meets President Obama Wednesday morning and will become the first pope to speak before a joint session of Congress on Thursday.